Hello again, everybody. In this brief video, I want to talk about using Turnitin as a tool. Way too many people, when they learn about Turnitin.com, they immediately think, oh no, my instructor doesn't trust me. Everybody thinks I'm cheating. I've just plagiarized my way through life. And that's not what Turnitin is about. Turnitin is a really effective tool to help you become more aware of plagiarism as well as documentation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at some of the screens that I see as an instructor. So what you would do is you would upload your essay to D2L and then it would be fed into turnitin.com. Then you would go back into D2L, you give it some time to process, let it run through, and then click on assignments, and you're gonna get an originality report. So this is an example here of what I would see for originality reports. So with this essay, this essay was based upon the different students, their personal experience. And what you'll notice here, you'll see blue and zero. That means that the report from turnitin.com, perfectly A-OK, -okay. which if you're writing about something based upon your own experience, this is what you would want to see. You'd want to see zeros. So you upload your paper early, you give it time to run through Turnitin, and then you come back and check and it says zero and you go, everything is, as it should be, life is good. So another example, you see some zeros, and then you see, ooh, a 4%. So the student stops and says, but wait a second, I'm writing about my best principle ever. I just wrote that paper. I, that didn't come from any place else. It came from me. It came from, from my heart. So then what you do is you would look at the report, and then here's what you'd see. So you see flagged in that kind of pink color is a couple short passages. What does this mean? Does this mean that you plagiarized the words year, I'm a better person for having known and being taught by? No, that doesn't mean that. What that means is out of all of the hundreds of thousands of sites that Turnitin.com went to and all of the thousands and thousands of papers that have been turned it in, turned in to Turnitin.com, those two phrases were used. So again, and that doesn't mean that you plagiarized. There's so much content online as well as in Turnitin that this, this happens. And by the way, the, the more that you write, yeah, this is going to happen. And what this is called, this is called not plagiarizing. This, this is not plagiarizing. So when you see stuff like this happen, you really don't have to worry because you've done nothing wrong. This is just a statistical you know, thing that happens. And enough people write, enough people are actually going to write the same words, and it happens. Nothing to worry about. Now, with this slide, you'll notice from the assignment titles, it says research. So this is an example of students turning in research essays. And the reports, the number has gone up. Why? We're in the low 30s, mid 20s. Well, that's what it should be like for a research essay. If you turn in a research essay and it's blue, right? It has zero, something's wrong because you're not using your research. And now what we can look at is how to use Turnitin as a tool to check and make sure that you're citing properly. So this would be an example of a report. Just like we saw before the, the different colors being used, to highlight that information that has been found. And what do we see? Is this reason for concern? Absolutely not. Why? What do we see? Well, 
we can see, right, we have a signal phrase. We're naming the author. We have the attribution here. We have, what do we have? A direct quote, direct quote, citation. Do we need to worry about that? No, that's everything as it should be. What about the next one? Quotation mark, we have a direct quote. Then what do we have? The citation, right? And there we have our signal phrase. That's as it should be. And then what do we have here? We have a quote from the poem itself. How do we know? Quotation mark. Here's this lined number citation, quotation mark. So this is how you can use Turnitin as a tool when you do a research essay. Write your research essay, save that document, upload it to turn it in, give it time to run through, and then come back and then look at the report. Make sure that those passages that are flagged have attributions, right? They're cited and that everything is well. So this is not an example of plagiarism. This is an example of proper and correct use of citations. This is how it should be. So again, when we hear Turnitin and we use Turnitin, use it as a tool to help you learn to properly cite and avoid plagiarism. So until we get to be together again, be well, do good work, and keep in touch.